Good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday, July 20th. So I am here to do Wait Is Enough Wednesday. Wait Is Enough Wednesday was started by Transforming Melody and Spanky Cola. And it is a day when a bunch of us beautiful women, sorry about that. A bunch of us beautiful women get together and we post our weigh-in videos for our weight loss journey. There is also a small group, I don't know, maybe a medium-sized group of people who are our subscribers. They may subscribe to all of us. They may subscribe to only some of us, but who wanted to join Weight is Enough Wednesday but do not make videos and they comment in the comments below how their weeks have been. So please check out everybody's channels that you can and check out the comments from some of the other people who are doing this that do not make videos. They need our support too. So, today. I actually weigh in on Mondays. I did change my weigh in day again back to Mondays. I was having a really hard time planning out my week starting on Wednesdays. I've kind of always weighed in on either Sundays or Mondays, so I've been having a really hard time planning. So this week I did go back to weighing on Mondays, but I am making my video here on Wednesday. So let me do a quick recap for anybody who is new. I have been on Weight Watchers since May of 2015. When I joined Weight Watchers in May, I was 250 pounds. And as far as I know, that was the highest weight I've ever been. I actually, I have two babies, two and four, and I gained a total of 14 pounds with my first, and he was a nine pound baby. And I actually lost 40, three pounds when I was pregnant with my daughter and she was almost eight pounds so when I left the hospital after having my daughter I was 50 pounds lighter than when I got pregnant I had an awful pregnancy with her I was sick the entire time I think I had three times when I had to go and have IV fluids because I wasn't getting any nutrients I lost a ton of weight and then in the year almost a year um, between when she was born and her first birthday her first birthday is in June so this was May just before her first birthday I gained about 50 or around 50 pounds in one year we went on vacation and it was the first vacation we had taken as a family and when I came home and saw the vacation pictures of me and my children, I was mortified. I was embarrassed. I was disgusted. And I thought to myself, my biggest first thought was, these are the memories that I am giving to my children. God willing, anything happens to me, these are the memories that they have. They are very far and few between, and they're not something I am proud of. I joined Weight Watchers two weeks later, and I have been going strong ever since. I lost my first... I lost my first 45 pounds on Points Plus. And I lost really quickly, really fast at the beginning of... Um, at the beginning of Smart Points, I lost like... 8 pounds the first month. I lost... 8 pounds the second month, and then I slowed way, way down. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Anybody who follows me knows that this is the way my videos go. Okay, so anyways, I hit a major, major plateau. Starting in about the end of January, early February of this year. And from then until about three and a half, maybe four weeks ago, I was at a complete standstill. I would go up a pound or two and down a pound or two, but I stayed within the same three or four pound range for all of February, all of March, all of 
May, April, all of May, all of June, most of June. And I was beginning to get a bit depressed. I know that my body is changing. I know that I'm losing inches, but I was not losing weight. So I was losing, I, I knew I was losing. My body felt different, my clothes felt different. However, that scale was just not moving. And I've worked really hard this past year to learn that there are more important things than the number on that scale. But it gets really depressing and really hard when you're working so hard and you're not seeing results. So I decided, along with a couple of the other girls, um, my friends here on YouTube, I know that Heather from Weight Watchers with Heather was going to try it, and my girl Amber from Amber's Weight Watcher Adventures has been doing it. And basically what we're doing, anybody who is in the um, Weight Watchers community has probably heard of the Wendy's plan. Wendy plan is a plan that uses not only your dailies but your weeklies but it spaces them out in kind of a mixed up format throughout your week every day is a different amount of points total and in total you either use some or all of your weeklies well Heather and I first started talking about it because we are both very slow losers and we are always I have always been one that even if I dip into my weeklies by three or four I don't lose I just gain weight so we decided to try to mix up our points using just our daily points using a lower amount and maybe even a higher amount I have two days a week that I use anywhere from three to six of my weeklies and I'll explain a little bit more after but there are some days during the week where I go from my daily limit that Weight Watchers gives me is 30 smart points a day I have two days a week when I only eat 24 points. I have one day that I eat 25 points, so that's three. I have two days a week that I eat 30 points right at program. And then I have two days a week, weigh-in day, I allow myself 34 to 36 points. And then I have one other day, which is Wednesday, that I allow up to 34 points. However, all of that said, when all of the math is added up, I am still five points under all of my daily points. Even though I technically use some of my weeklies because there are days that I go over my daily limit, I am not intaking any more food. I'm actually intaking less than if I followed my program and did 30 points a day. 30 points a day times seven is 210 points. I am using 195 or 97. Let me look here. Um, sorry about that. I, oh, I am using 193 so I still have 17 points of my daily point total that I am not using however it has worked wonders for me the first week I tried it I lost four pounds on the dot which is the biggest loss I have had other than the very first week on Weight Watchers and I think that week I lost like 5.8 so the first week I mixed up my points, I lost four points. Then I got sick, and I waited 10 days to weigh in again. And when I weighed in, after 10 days, I had lost another... I was down another 4.6. So in just the three weeks, the first three weeks, I lost... 8.6 pounds. Last week when I weighed in, was that last week? Yes, that was last week. So anyways, this week when I weighed in, so last week when I weighed in, last, last week when I weighed in, last Monday, 
Last Monday was the first Monday I went back to weighing in on Mondays. I weighed in at 172.4. This Monday, when I weighed in, I weighed in at 171.6. So I was down another 0.8, which puts my total loss to date at 78.4 pounds. Can you believe that? My Weight Watchers goal is 160, so I am 11.4 pounds from my Weight Watchers goal weight. I can't even tell you how excited that makes me. I have been working so hard, mixing up my points. I have started new workout routines. Um, I have started doing the Bikini Body Mommy, which I absolutely love. And none of you, if any of you have not heard of it, check her out here on YouTube. Just search Bikini Body Mommy. And I am doing the new program, which is 5.0. It is fantastic. It is quick. It is sweaty. And it works out muscles that you didn't even know you had. I have also been trying really hard to take the time to get out there either by myself or with my kids for a walk at least three nights a week. And Friday, this Friday, coming up, I am trying my very first spin class. I am so excited and so scared and I don't know how it is going to turn out. I'm looking forward to going to an actual fitness class without my kids, without my husband, without my busy, loud house in the background. That's where I do all my workouts. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to just going and being at a class and being with other grown-ups and doing something to better myself, mind and body. So those are my goals this week. I am always at my step goals. I move from the minute I wake up until the minute I go to bed. Um, I don't allow myself to just sit and watch TV. Um, I walk in place when I watch TV. I walk in place if I'm not eating. I walk in place when I watch YouTube videos. Um, I just constantly try to stay moving so that my metabolism stays built up. I get my waters. I love to drink water. I drink water all day. I don't, other than my one cup of coffee, I really don't drink anything else during the day. Um, I have really, of course, it's only been two days. I haven't tracked anything yet today because it's first thing in the morning. But I have started tracking everything in my happy planner, which makes me very happy. I love to plan in it. I love to track in it I love to just sit and it has become even though I've only done one weekly spread it has become soothing to me it is a relaxing thing I like to look at it and plan and the thought process at nighttime after my kids have gone to bed so that is it for this week I was down 0.8 which I will take I know I will not have those big huge losses for Ever. Um, I also had a lot of water retention this week. It has been super, super, super humid where I live. Like right up near like 100% humid. Um, hard to breathe outside humid. Um, not today, as you can see, they're practically falling off my fingers. But I had two or three days where my rings were so tight that I couldn't take them off. So I know I was retaining some water. Um, this past week just from the humidity in the air my ankles were swollen my wrists were swollen my fingers were swollen um, today it's only about 60 degrees and it's nice and cool and I'm sitting right in front of a fan so all of that water is gone and I will be eager to see what next week's weigh-in brings um, but for today I am focusing on today so Thank you guys so much. I will link all of the other beautiful ladies down below. Please check them out. If you were here from their channel checking me out, thank you so much. Thank you for coming over and checking out my journey and my crazy life here. And I hope you'll stick around. Please like and subscribe if you have not yet already so that you don't miss 
any new videos. I like to do day in the life, what I eat, um, recipe videos, grocery hauls, my weigh in Wednesday videos, um, and now a Monday check out my planner video that I started doing this week. So subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys.